Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video we're going to be creating the beginning of our Chrome extension. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is head to your Chrome extensions. So Chrome colon double slash extensions. Then make sure developer mode is checked on so you can actually load your extension. And then head to whatever file or whatever folder you're going to be creating this extension in. You can use whatever editor you want. I'm using VS Code, so you can download that if you'd like. And then the first thing we're going to need is a manifest.json file. And what a manifest does is it allows you to specify information about whatever you're creating. So this manifest file will contain information regarding our JSR Chrome extension. So the first thing you want to put in this manifest file are two curly braces. And within these curly braces, we're going to specify the name first. So name, this is just the name of whatever your extension is. So mine will be called Steam Code Chrome extension. And then you're going to need the description. The description is what shows up when you hover over the extension or when you click on it, it just describes whatever your extension does. So this will be sample Chrome extension. Next, you're going to want to have a version and the version can be whatever number you want. You can increment this as you continue updating your extension, but this will just be 1.0 for now. It can be whatever number you want. It's not specified or it's not set to something that has to change if you don't want it to. And lastly, we're going to be specifying our manifest version. Now, this is important because this specifies the version of manifest that we're using and the version of manifest that we're going to be using is version three, which is the latest one. All right, that's all we're going to have for right now. Let's see how this looks once we unpack it. So head over to this button here that says load unpacked navigate to wherever that folder is that you created this manifest.json file select that folder and as you can see here your extension is loaded the name of the extension is steam code chrome extension it's a sample chrome extension as per the description and the version is 1.0 as you can see here we can change this to version 2.3.1 if we save that, then reload the extension, as you can see, the version changes. So all of this is reactive and it responds to what you do. So now the extension doesn't really do anything right now because we haven't actually had any JavaScript implanted into this extension. So let's do that right now. We're going to create something called a service worker. What a service worker does is it does things in the background of our Chrome extension. So we're going to need to have this background here. And within this background, we're going to specify what service worker we're going to use. So have another curly, have a colon and then another curly brace and then service underscore worker. And we're going to use a service worker. We're going to call this background dot JS. And so now let's actually create this file background dot JS. So inside of touch here, I'll create a new file. Let's call this background dot js so remember this background or this service worker file will only be able to access things that are away from the client and so only, they're only able to access things in the background and do whatever needs to be done such as crunching numbers or handle databases or whatever your extension wants to do let's actually make this do something so let's say chrome dot runtime dot on installed dot add listener then we'll have this anonymous function here and end that with a semicolon so let me let me explain what's going on here so we're getting the chrome and we're getting on in the uninstalled event so once this has been installed we're going to add this listener and it's going to do whatever is inside of this function that we have here so for right now let's just say console.log hello world and let's save all right so if we reload this extension as you can see 
something popped up here saying inspect views service worker but you see here we said console.log hello world if we open up the console we should see hello world but as you can see we don't we don't see anything and that's because with the service worker remember it only runs in the background it so can't handle anything that has to do with the client which is what we see so we need to go to its own console, which you can see here with the service worker. And within its own console, let's reload this. Within its own console, it'll say, hello world. All right, so that, that's the basics of how to get a basic Chrome extension up and running. In the future tutorials, we'll add more to this extension. We'll upgrade it and add different functionalities to it but i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section down below please like and subscribe if you enjoyed please join our discord you can see that down in the comment section down below you can make suggestions or ask me questions or just hang out with the community and i will see you all in the next video